Hey y'all. It has been a minute since I've actually got to record a video. Why? I don't know. But we're here now and we're here for a very important purpose, okay? Considering that I got so many requests to do a tutorial on this specific look that you're seeing here, y'all ate this post up, okay? I literally got over 200 thousand of y'all who liked this post alone with almost i think almost if it didn't reach five million almost five million of y'all saw this and just yeah i'm giving it y'all asked with almost over 500 comments everybody like we want a tutorial we want a tutorial when i did this style i was just you know playing around one day that's also why i just love natural hair because me i just love playing in my hair sometimes where i get to like try different styles i, I oftentimes stick to the same stuff so when i do do something different i'm like okay she's cute and when i did the style and i posted the pictures i did not expect to get that much impressions by it but y'all asked and now you shall receive and i was just gonna post a regular instagram video for it but i thought to myself hmm why not do a full-on tutorial here on youtube so if you made it from my instagram specifically to see this tutorial for this style thanks for coming make sure that you subscribe and let's get on into it okay so first things first tools and products that you'll need for this style really all you'll need is a rat tail comb specifically to part your hair but also to tangle it especially if you have thicker hair you start out first with a smaller well you know you're supposed to start out first really with a bigger comb to get them extra big tangles out once you get the big tangles out you can get the smaller tangles out but i'm gonna go ahead and use this along with your spray bottle to you know rewet your hair a pick because picks are always necessary and if you have short hair like me which i'm assuming some of y'all do that came to this video but you might not have a fade like me but if you are someone who does um you're definitely gonna need this brush my hair is not only short but it's faded around the sides and in the back so that's also a part of this style if you have longer hair it definitely will look different but of course on me it, it look different than other people that you've seen but either way i also did not invent this style i just want to make that clear um i'm not taking credit for nothing this is just something that i didn't necessarily see inspiration on when i did it i just said oh let me just try this little zigzag part situation but i'm completely and fully aware that other girls have done this it's been already done on long hair probably short hair i'm just out here representing for the natural type 4 girls that got short hair here to show y'all that not only can we do more styles with our short hair but real cute styles but lastly you'll need an edge control pomade this one is by Main Nutrients. This is not only a black owned brand, but it is a woman owned brand by a young girl like me. She's in school, she's in college, and she has her own hair care brand, y'all. She's really doing the damn thing. And this edge control, I legit love it. Not only does it come in a nice size container, how much is this? This is four ounces. It's pretty sure it's the mango scent, but it smells so good. The texture of it is really nice and smooth and helps you get a nice lay on your hair. So that's what we're using in terms of pomade to really get my hair flat down and slick. But if you're more of a gel girl, we can use gel too. This is the one I'll be using today. You also might need some clips to pin your hair out the way. I know I'm gonna need them. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Starting off with the first initial line. Now you can start it whichever way that you want to, of course. Me, y'all see I'm starting from from the view of the camera. It looks like my left side. For me, it's my right side parting diagonally now the most challenging part of this style is getting the parts perfect so they sometimes you might have like a little hair that's supposed to be on the other side sticking up and it's making the part look kind of off so i just go through as you can see i'm cleaning it up just trying to get it as perfect as possible i mean nothing is perfect except for jesus but listen i'm trying to get this part as perfect as the lord above you hear me so yes, as soon as you get your parts and your zigzags right, then you can go through and clean it up to make sure that every hair is in place. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's self-explanatory. You can do more zigzags than this if you want to. I think it would be cute. This is what I'm sticking with for now. And now that the middle parting situation is done, that was the hardest part, all that's left to do is section off each little pony. So I'm going through, stopping at the last end of that zigzag at the back you want to part 
straight down from there and i forgot to mention in the beginning that you're going to need two soft scrunchies for this look for each pony and back to what i was saying i'm just sectioning off the rest of my hair from the two ponies so that obviously they're sectioned off they got their own position they're good and like i said i'm also going to leave off the sides of my hair because i do have my fade situation going on and it just looks better if i leave some hair down there to help better blend it out now I'm just using my spray bottle to wet my hair and better detangle it. Not necessarily detangle, but it helps moisten it so that I can start the styling, applying the pomade. As you can see, I also picked my hair out to get it extra fluffy so that the puff can be even bigger and just makes it real cute okay and y'all see now i'm going with the pomade to slick my hair down this is personally my favorite part i just love seeing the transition of when you know obviously the hair is not necessarily tamed at the top but when you get that pomade and you take that hard bristle brush i also forgot to mention y'all go need a hard bristle brush but you see how i'm just laying it down it truly makes all the difference makes the style look neat and really brings it all together and after that all i gotta do is take my soft scrunchie wrap that around again and boom she is done on the first pony fluffing that part out you see that and i'm just gonna repeat that to the other side y'all see the difference between sleek and kinky mm -hmm. now we're gonna go fast mode and do that to the other side All right, y'all, so I'm finally done with getting the parts right. This style, with this style, it's really so easy. It's just mainly about getting the parts right that can be like the most challenging part of this style, getting that zigzag perfect, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my hair, so I like my parts perfect. That might not be absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna tell you one thing she gonna do. It's gonna do, and she's looking pretty cute, if I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But just for reference, this is what my hair looks like when it's a little bit more kinky in terms of I haven't refreshed my curls. I like this, super cute, um, gives just the same effect. Really, this is what my day three hair would start looking like, getting a little kinkier, fluffier, curls aren't as defined, aren't as shiny. Um, which is all good too but for my girls out there because i know y'all want to see me do my little curl defining so i'm going to show you what i do when it comes to refreshing it. and that's where the eco styler gel is going to come in hand this is the argan oil one by the way i use a lot of different variations of the eco styler but this is just the one we got on deck today so let me start rambling and i'm gonna show y'all how i do that now I'm just going to take y'all through a little simple tutorial of how I get these curls popping by doing finger coils. Finger coils is my main way, really my only way of how I define my curls. Been doing it. I have a whole little tutorial on how I finger coil my short type 4 hair already on my page. Make sure you click my channel. Make sure you subscribe, but go down and see that video. It shouldn't be too far down from this one. But yeah, as you can see, I'm taking that Eco Styler Gel, the Argan Oil one again to be exact, and I apply water detangle my hair apply the gel detangle one more time to make sure it's absolutely smooth because my hair is coarse so i gotta make sure it's detangled and then start twirling it around my finger that gel gives it some nice slip so that it's easy y'all see how it just falls back just bounces back up as soon as i let go from my finger watch this boom effortless and that's all that there is to it now just repeating that process to whatever other pieces across my hair that i see a little frizzy need a little touch up and to the puffs and i'll see y'all back for the finished look and boom there is the difference when you hit it with the gel i hope y'all can see that 
just as cute and that is really it for this tutorial thank you all so much for watching again if you came here literally from finding my page on instagram from that post thank you so much make sure that y'all subscribe to this channel once again just so you can see my face again i'm just playing but so that you can get some more hair videos okay because i'm here to represent for the type 4 coily kinky girls with the short hair all day every day and i'm gonna keep representing period so make sure that y'all follow me on my instagram and my tiktok they will both be linked down in the description box below also if you're interested in purchasing some of this main nutrients edge pomade i have a discount code for y'all to receive percentage off of it save some money not just off of this but anything that you order from mainnutrients.com you can get a percentage off so use my discount code that will also be linked down in the bio below it is super cute though i'm just really looking at it like so cute all right y'all i'm signing out now make sure you subscribe